Local entrepreneurs take the big scary leap of rethinking everything inspired by pandemic. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, it has been roughly 24 hours since the Grizzly Creek fire erupted in Glenwood Canyon, and 24 miles of I-70 are still closed, from Gypsum to Glenwood Springs. That fire has burned more than 1,800 acres in just one day. Reports show it started in a median before jumping westbound lanes, singeing the elevated roadway en route to a northern hillside. More than 120 firefighters are on site today, evacuating campsites and building fire lines, trying to keep flames from crawling into the nearby town of No Name cause is unknown. Local fire danger today is very high in Summit and most neighboring counties, led by low humidity and dry, gusty winds. Backyard fires are still allowed with a permit in Summit, and campfires are only allowed at developed campgrounds. Fires in the backcountry are banned. When COVID-19 reared its ugly head, Brooke Komai of Climax Jerky in Breckenridge was blindsided. At that time, we had 17 employees, and all of a sudden, like the valve just shut off. There was nothing coming in. Um, so it was really it was really scary. Climax Jerky was not alone, like dozens of local businesses. Their situation inspired Summit Chamber to partner with CoStarters, a Tennessee-based business boot camp founded by CEO Enoch Elwell. For any business, just getting a good foundation um, is extremely helpful, and refocusing your work is extremely helpful. For eight weeks starting this May, the inaugural Summit Biz Rebuild program gave entrepreneurs ideas and, most importantly, peer support right here in Summit. It was great hearing from other people and everybody encouraging each other and like, okay, we're going to get through this. How are we going to do it? Elwell says it can be scary to rethink your business, especially in a pandemic, but the alternative is reckless and could even kill your business. So there's so much opportunity for business right now, um, not just to create a good um, income, a good uh, way to, to be financially stable, but also through business to build a better society and to build a better community, a better world. Since June, Climax has rehired all of its local staff and seen internet sales soar, thanks in part to new marketing. The Summit Biz Rebuild program is back for another eight-week session soon. Contact Summit Chamber for info. Micro businesses, entrepreneurs, and employers of all sizes are invited to a free forum tomorrow hosted by Summit Chamber. The topic is what else? COVID-19 and strategies for navigating the coming weeks and months of virus recovery. That free forum is tomorrow from 10:30 a.m. to 12:30 p.m. held on Zoom with Summit Chamber and Summit Public Health officials. Get the Zoom link and details at summitchamber.org. Dozens of races, concerts, and other special events have gone virtual this summer, and town of Breckenridge still wants its cut. At tonight's meeting, town council hears first reading of a new special event ordinance, which requires a special event permit for any public event, virtual or in person, with more than 50 people. It's for entertainment events only, so think things like races and performances, not demonstrations. In Frisco, tonight's town council meeting is canceled. Next meeting there is August 25th. In sports, the Rockies play the Diamondbacks tonight at 640. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency. Race 3 of the Summit Trail Series wrapped up last Friday on short and long courses at Baker's Tank, and we finally have results. 18-year-old Jared Wright was fastest overall and men's finisher on the short course. 16-year-old Riley Stewart took the women's short title. On the long course, 28-year-old Morgan Elliott won the men's in overall race, and Ava Hagen was fastest woman, fourth overall, to remain undefeated this season. Next race in the series is August 29th at Horseshoe Gulch. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.